What's up everybody, welcome back to Selenix Crypto and welcome to this video in which we'll do kind of like a, a review slash analysis because we can analyze it a little bit as well on Bonk, uh, which is uh, first of all very trending today. So so great, congratulations to the Bonk community. Uh, they made something happen, uh, Bonk is trending. I saw it on some, on, on some Solana subreddits as well, excuse me. Uh, but the volume, even though it's uh, shady, I mean, uh, here you can see that sometimes it's just, I think this has to do with uh, that that volume is not correctly registering from, from certain sources, like from Orca, sometimes it's, it's not really registering well. So that's why it, it shows it like that. It's not necessarily, I do think this this volume, this, this upper volume, so around 21, 22 million is the correct one. Uh, so that's a huge amount of volume, right? So uh, th that's definitely great. It's, uh, and, and I don't mean this in any bad way, but it's a meme coin. Uh, created on Solana, it's it's the first dog coin on uh, on Solana, to my knowledge, or probably not, but the the the, uh, the first big one. It's created. It, it's a real meme coin. I mean, it's created after everything that happened that happened with Toxic Alameda Tokenomics, uh, and it wanted to make a fun meme coin where everybody gets a fair shot. And and by doing that, what they're doing is uh, is is that um, there's an airdrop to specific people, right? So to Solana NFT collections, to Solana developers, kind of to help the ecosystem, which I think is a really noble goal. And I like it a lot. Uh, the thing though is, and, and most of you know that as well, that everybody can claim this, all right? It doesn't necessarily, someone with bad intentions could definitely come up with this. So I do want you to know that, uh, uh, please be careful. In the end, even though that a lot of money has gone into the project, that doesn't mean that it's safe. There's no team that we know. It's not documented. Uh, they do have some partners, but but some of them we can also um, ask whether they are real partners or not. Uh, when you check out the uh, when you check out the token of Soul Scan, there are cer certain things which I do not necessarily like, which. Um, um, I'll show that to you. I mean, they do have some, there. It, it's just, I, I want to warn you. I don't necessarily think this is a scam. To be honest, I, it, it looks like it isn't, but we don't know if it is, all right? And if you, for example, take a look at, 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 the, uh, at the Explorer, at SoulScan, you can see that the, uh, that the tokens are like, it's, it's, it's very weird distributed, all right? It's, it's just a classical meme coin because they, they, um, they distribute it to a lot of holders. There are not in reality this many holders. I mean, when you take a look at the statistics of the holders, you can see that um, that the holders went up a lot in the matter of like uh, one day here. The holders went up by, by more than 50,000. That's just not correct, all right? But I guess that's meme token, uh, meme token shenanigans. But if we take a look at the price, um, there's not a lot we can say. I mean, this is maxi. I could not find any uh, charge on Radium or on Orca. Uh, so this is maxi. The main thing is, is that over today, our main resistance level has been this level at 12,500, which I'll name like that. But in reality, it's like a 0 0.0012 and a half cents. Um, the main thing is, the main thing we want to do is we want to break above that level. If we can break above that level, we can actually get all the way up to 15,000 and even higher. Uh, but then I'll, I'll make an update as soon as possible. But this is the thing we want to do. Uh, and I would argue that we still have like the next, um, the next, 24 hours for that. Usually with meme coins, the thing is, is that right now it has a lot of uh, momentum. And right now it still has a pos possibility to do this, but we do need to do it. Otherwise the hype dies down. And what will probably happen is that what you can see right now, the price is kind of circling or, or consolidating between 10,000 and 12,500. If we're not going to break above 12,500 soon, What's going to happen is that we'll slowly drop back down when the hype is uh, falling and that will uh, drop down below 10,000. And I would argue that if we drop down below 10,000, at least for the upcoming week, it's it's done. All right. Uh, boing, bonk is done. So it's, uh, it's, it's, I mean, I cannot obviously do a, do a full technical analysis, but the most important levels are 12,500 and 10,000. If 10,000 falls, I would argue it's over at least for a week. Uh, long term, that doesn't really say a lot. And if we break above 12,500, we can actually get some sort of a rally. All right. So that's my take. That's a small little review and, a, and an analysis on Bonk. So if you do have any questions, let me know. But for now, take care and bye.